Brad Phelan shop specializes in cat off-highway equipment repair. This engine block suffered from a broken valve head that shattered a piston and tossed the connecting rod to the side of the block. The broken block piece is now being welded into place using TIG method and weld mold company filler rod 700 and 750 type. Here D. Wade performs the weld using 062 filler rod, 330 seconds electrode. D uses an air power descaler as a unique way to shot peen after each weld pass. The broken casting serves as a bridge over the hole gap. Weld mold 700 and 750 is available for cast iron repairs of this type. The rod is available as tick filler and also SMAW or stick welding rod. Weld mold 700 is preferred for welding thin sections of cast iron where high dilution occurs and maximum machinability is required as encountered on shy castings and machining errors. Weld Mold 700 is also excellent for building up on large castings. I'm trying to kind of put some in the bottom and let it solidify a little bit before I add some more. Weld Mold 700 is a commercially pure nickel weld deposit. It can easily be machined, drilled, tapped, and filed. The procedure for using Weld Mold Company's 700 cast iron rod is to prepare the weld area by beveling and cleaning the cracked edges to be joined. You can use poly chamfer electrodes for all beveling applications. Preheat the part to 500 degrees, in this case the block area. Maintain interpass temperatures of 150 degrees Fahrenheit. Use a stringer bead or weaving technique and peen to relieve stresses between weld passes. Wrap with a thermal blanket and allow the casting to cool slowly to room temperature. The rod is available for SMAW, GMAW and GTAW. Tensile strength of the rod is 50,000 PSI, and the alloy type is commercially pure nickel. It is highly machinable. For this application, Weld Mold 750 also works very well. Weld Mold 750 is for the repair and joining of heavy sections of cast iron. The high carbon in 750 promotes the formation of graphite in the weld metal, thereby reducing shrinkage stresses and the possibility of heat affected zone cracking. 750 weld deposits are machinable. 750 is designed specifically for on-the-job repairs of cast iron, which eliminates the necessity of dismantling equipment. While preheating is recommended, 750 may be used without preheating or postheating in many instances. You use weld mold 750 when high-strength crack-free welds are required on all cast iron maintenance applications. Like this engine block, that would include motor housings, gears, sprockets, ladles, flasks, and transmission housings. Weld Mold 750 is excellent for building up shy areas and filling holes in castings. Use this for all repair and joining welds on gray, malleable, ductile, and nodular iron castings, and they're joining to steel alloys. Weld Mold 750 requires the removal of all rust scale and oil. Preheat the casting to 500 degrees Fahrenheit and maintain interpass temperature. Maintain a short arc and use either the stringer bead or slight weaving technique. Skip weld in order to dissipate the heat as evenly as possible into the workpiece and peen rapidly to help relieve stresses between passes. Always backstep the crater before breaking the arc. Clean off slag between passes and cover the finished unit after welding in order to retard the cooling rate. Weld Mold 750 is available for SMAW, GMAW, FCAW, and GTAW. In terms of machinability, its rating is good. Tensile strength is quite high at 75,000 PSI. For this block repair, Weld Mold 750 seemed to be optimal. The block itself has a high nickel content, so the dilution and compatibility of materials points in the direction of Weld Mold 750 for this application. D did, however, add Weld Mold 700, which is pure nickel, to this welding process. As D finishes the welding process, he reaches for the propane torch to heat this cast iron engine block to uniform temperature for cool down. In the process, the goal is to get the block 
heated to the point that it will shrink uniformly. He's now at well over 200 degrees, just below 300, and he covers the engine block with a heat blanket and stuffs the cavity with a leather welding jacket.